My name is Trey Bain with the City of Fort Morgan Fire Department and Rural District. We serve a city community and a rural community. We are replacing a SVI truck that we've had in service for over 20 years. So um, we went with a little bit bigger with our community growing. We went with the Metro Star uh, chassis um, because of its um, availability, its room, and uh, just to be able to fit more people comfortably inside of our uh, vehicle. We put it on a 4x4 chassis. Um, due to the areas that we do serve, um, there is uh, interstate highways and stuff. We go in the medians, medians get stuck. Uh, we go down on the river bottoms. Um, not a lot, but enough to justify not getting stuck. And then our rural areas also have um, dirt roads and um, backcountry areas that we do serve. So uh, We put a couple extra cabinets in here for a battery charging station for our um, small hand tools, radios, stuff like that. Uh, we do seat three in the back uh, for our calls and stuff like that. We require five to go. We went with the side stair walk and it's got four compartments up top for extra equipment. So um, we condensed the area to go up the side instead of the back and lose all the area in the back. Up top we'll have our ice rescue equipment, um, our cribbing, uh, extra ACBA bottles. We won't use out of the norm, but we have it on the truck just in case. On this compartment here, we have a full slide out, 96 inch tray, um, thousand pounds. We have top for uh, backboards, a scoop, and a uh, various small tools that can slide in and out of there. And then the bottom we have just a 400 pound tray for various tools. We have a winch system um, that we put on the truck. It has a point on all four sides of the truck. So it has the power unit in here to run our winch system. So in the middle compartment here we went with uh, SCBA storage on both sides of the truck above the wheel well. Um, we went with a half divider for two SCBA packs on one side and uh, various equipment on the other. So the back cabinet here will have all of our extrication equipment, um, a spreader ram and cutter, and the top we'll go ahead and put all of our extra hoses. On the back door here will be all of our airbags. We had a custom built uh, holder for any of our airbags that we have at the station along with the um, bottles that we need to run our airbags with, um, housing for the controllers for the airbags. So up top we have two pike poles, an attic ladder, and a roof installed, uh, just so we can have that on our truck, something that's new to us that we never had on our rescue before. Behind the catwalk up top we'll have a command light. Uh, we went with a light tower just for the fact that um, a lot of our areas and accidents are off the interstate. We need more visibility off the back end of the truck. So in this back compartment here, um, we have two slide out tool boards. We'll put a high, high low jack, uh, axes, halligans. This is the um, floor dry. So we can put up to five bags of floor dry on this and be able to fill it off of a bucket. So this door here mirrors the opposite side. It's got the two SCBA holders um, and then an extra room for uh, more tools. Uh, and then underneath, uh, more SCBA storage under, over the top of the wheel well also with the winch connection on this side. So this mirrors the opposite side. This is the same pull-out tray that'll go 96 inches out. Um, up top, we'll have our stokes and backboards accessible from this side also. So this is uh, our back compartment here. Underneath the stairs, um, this is a pull-out tray, uh, three-stage, so it'll pull out three times. Um, house various tools for um, our med bags and stuff like that. We also have our uh, controller for our command light in this uh, compartment.